Our final story tonight is about troubled children of the inner city who've come to a critical turning point. Unless something changes, they would be headed for failure and perhaps a life of crime. Well, in an effort to make that change, some of these children are being introduced to an alternative life in the country half a world away, as Bob Simon reports on assignment in Israel. There have been some unusual visitors on this communal farm near Jerusalem, 14 teenagers from the meanest streets of New York City. They're all students at Manhattan's West Side High School, a last chance kind of place, and they're here on a 10-week program designed to change their lives. There's Abdul, who used to carry a gun to school and who was arrested during a Harlem drug sweep. This trip wasn't available for me. I'd probably be a, a statistic in about a couple of more years. There's Jessie, who was arrested for intimidating a witness during a drug raid. She's seen a lot in her 19 years, but never anything like this place. Oh my God, it's like, it doesn't matter if you're yeah. Hispanic, black, it's like you're treated yeah. equal. And they like you anyway. I mean, it's yeah, a shock when I told the people, the people I work with that I'm Puerto Rican, they were like, really? I thought you were just American. That was the first shock, discovering that the only color lines here are on the cows. Orlando's been getting up at three in the morning, six days a week to work the mysterious world of the cow shed, was recently promoted to assistant milker. Like all the kids, Orlando was assigned a host family by the kibbutz, and that's where he was shocked by something he'd never encountered before, trust. I mean, they, they let me in their house and they fed me, uh, you know. <laughs> they gave me the keys to their house and it was like, oh my God, these people don't even know me. and they. <laughs> and they trust me. There were other shocks too in this kibbutz where no one uses money and no one owns a car. I mean, in this kibbutz, who is Donna Karen? Who is Calvin Klein? There were shocks like the color green <laughs> and laughter and happy childhoods. It's incredible. They are so close. The families are families over here. They, they, oh my once God, they get yeah. married, it's like this. I don't know, they it's, stick together. I don't know if it's, it's like a TV show. show. Yeah. It's like a TV show watching these people. Like the family, they eat dinner together. The program's in its eighth year now, the second on this kibbutz. It's run by a nonprofit organization called YouthWorks, which tries to give the kids something they can take back to New York City. We take the person out of the environment to show them and help them realize that they have what it takes to make it, that they have um, discipline and self-confidence, and they can be responsible. From the Israelis' point of view, what it's really about is work. That's what they demand of the kids, and that's what they get. And what better place to learn the Protestant work ethic than on an Israeli kibbutz? The discipline, the discipline and work, which is not about rules and not about punishment, and not about salaries, just self-discipline. This they learn here. And they've got a pretty good track record. Of 125 students who've been through the program, 105 went back to graduate from high school. More than 40 went on to college or got jobs. But that doesn't mean anyone is eager to go back. In fact, it doesn't take long in this place in the sun before the dread sets in. I mean, I already feel like I live over here. <laughs> I do not want to go back. I'm very happy being here, yeah. Do you think it's going to be tough going back to New York? Very, very. I don't want to see the day, you know? When the day came, the entire kibbutz came out to say goodbye. Tough as rallies, tough street kids melting before your eyes. They know what they're leaving, they know where they're going, and they know the odds. This wasn't the time to remind them but all these kids said that what they learned in 10 weeks here was not only how to trust other people, but how to trust themselves. Bob Simon, CBS News, near Jerusalem. And that's the news. Here's Roberta Baskin now with a preview of tonight's 48 Hours.